Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel, Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading. I do apologize. I've, I've been a bit sick, so I haven't quite done as many readings as I as I should have and I've missed last week. But we've got, I should be back in action next week. So this is your weekly check-in and this is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. It's a general reading, Leo, just take what feels right and leave the rest. We do have a very significant full moon that is occurring on the 19th in the sign of Taurus that's happening at on the 19th, like I said. And this is going to be affecting you, it's a lunar eclipse so a full moon lunar eclipse and eclipses can be unpredictable. They can bring change. They can bring resets. They can bring all sorts of interesting things. And I actually think I actually really like eclipses, but some people they've had a negative rap in the past, but I think, you know, why they kind of a bit like the tower energy. They're a bit Uranian in that they can just take you out of a situation that wasn't working for you and put you in another one really quickly. But anyway, this energy is occurring in hitting you mostly in your career line, Leo. So things might be, you might be suddenly finding yourself doing things slightly differently or coming up with a whole brilliant new idea to do it uh, another way that could actually bring in more money or you could be looking at a whole other pivot, a one degree pivot or trajectory that could actually put you on a different or better path that's coming through. Now, the other thing that I'm getting here and it's coming up with these cards and let's have a look at what's at the base here, the Six of Swords. Actually, they're telling me that's not the right card. So, oh, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Sorry, Leo, I hadn't quite shuffled those, that part of the reading properly because it all came out so fast. So what I'm getting with you, because we have the Queen of Cups right in the center here, we've got the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords and the Magician, and then at the base, the Ace of Pentacles. So these energies here is all about looking after yourself. So this is where I think you might be coming back to your health, coming back to your heart and saying what it is that I need to do, nurturing myself, self-love. And it could also be around relationship with mother as well. But I do feel like there's something really big that you're about to step into here with this Ace of Pentacles coming up. There's a solid new opportunity and I do feel like it's related to work. So your work or your career, this is where we're saying there's some sort of uh, new cycle that's starting that could actually bring in a very, very successful, even I'm getting uh, for you, Leo, that this, whatever it is that you start here has the potential to actually rise astronomically, to actually go really high. So it may not happen straight away, but it has a sense that the path that you set out on, and I do feel like it's very much related to your career and money, is definitely has a potential to go astronomical, <laughs> is kind of the words I've been given. But you need to look after yourself first. Get your health, get your heart, get your mind and body in the right space to get the energy to be able to do this and step into this. So with the magician right next to you, this could be that you're looking at healthcare providers or someone that you can do um, some kind of healing with, if that's someone that something that you're into. But it can also be you getting ready. It's you preparing. It's you getting your confidence. It's you working the plan. It's you starting to work your magic here a little bit, Leo. So, but it needs that internal space for you to find this. So we have the Seven of Swords coming in next to it as well, which actually. Uh, is an energy of, yeah, I feel like there's a lot happening behind the scenes. It's kind of interesting because the Magician and the Seven of Swords are both the cards of potential deception here. And this is where you could be looking at how honesty has been working in your life. And this is other people being honest with you, but you also being honest with yourself. And this is where you're coming back to yourself with that beautiful Queen of Cups energy and nurturing yourself and kind of, you know, honestly going, look, maybe I haven't done, maybe this hasn't been the best thing for me. And maybe uh, there's a better way. And so it actually feels really, really good because this is, there's, it feels like there's a lot of healing around this in preparation for stepping into this lovely Ace of Pentacles here which like I said, is feels really, really good. So I feel like part of what's happening here is that you are releasing an old pattern uh, where there has been a lack of truth or authenticity that has come in. And whether this is someone around you that you haven't trusted, 
or you did trust and realize you haven't trusted, or whether this is connecting you to your more authentic version of yourself, then that's uh, going to be different for all of you. And in fact, I feel like it's a combination of both. So let's get a message from the universe coming in for you, Leo. And I do apologize that I have had a little bit of a cold, so I, I think I'm sounding a bit better, but I can't if I'm a bit snozzy, I apologize. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Beautiful. And it does feel very high vibrational. It's lifting you up and out of something, this energy here, and really wanting to propel you into the future, into some forward um, future energy. This, Whatever's being planted here, I feel like it's activating all of 2022. So this is something that could happen like career-wise, and like I said, it could just be the seed planting now, the idea, or but and formulating the plan as well. But it's definitely is something I feel like it can carry you forward for a whole year. There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. <laughs> I love it. And that's kind of what we were talking about. And this one says, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. And that's really beautiful. And that's what we're seeing here with this Queen of Cups is I feel like there's a lot of timelines that of trauma or fear that we all, we all go through that has kind of finished for whatever reason. They're showing me it's the end, it's culminated. And it's a sense of now it's you're able to release this and release some old karma, some old karmic ties that have been around but there's also this sense of it needs some time just to release, to detox from that um, before you can get your get into the new energy that's coming through. So let's pull a message from the Ascended Masters for you. We have Stay Focused. So even though there's a lot going on for you, I feel like in terms of releasing, and that's why I think like even physical detoxing, but also energetically, emotionally, even thought wise in terms of some thoughts and ideas that you've had. Uh, and it, this can also be detoxing from people, um, from places, uh, but stay focused. And that's what they're wanting. Keep eyes on the prize because this is still coming up. There's work to be done here. So keep, uh, keep, it's like, yeah, need to go through this process, but definitely don't lose that vision that has come up amongst all of this. Let's see what animal energy you are working with this week, Leo. Ooh, this is what we were talking about. We have the black egg and I absolutely love this. And you put it right next to the Ace of Pentacles. We can see that something is birthing. The black egg means that it's got this magnetic force and it's potentially living in the unknown at the moment or in the subconscious at the moment. Uh, but it's ready to come up and out. It lives in this very fertile space. And it is this sense that it, this is something very powerful that's occurring here. So this is a powerful, I do feel like it's related to money and career, that a powerful energy that is birthing here. And like I said, this is the start of creation. So uh, we don't know that this, what it's going to be exactly, but this circle up here is the energy of spirit. So this is the sense that this is something coming, aligning you from a very high vibrational energy coming in. So there's a sense of fate coming in with this, which is feels really, really important. So I'm actually just being told to pull a fairy card. We haven't pulled these cards for a while, but they've just recently come back. They went into hibernation for a while. It's sort of funny how cards do that. Oh, not one, but three have come out. So, and they're like, yes, we're ready to talk again. So we have the black, the dark lady, sorry, the dark lady. And this is the thing that um, the dark lady and the black egg, this is power. This is something very, very powerful and authentic is coming out to you. Very much connected to the divine feminine energy. Something, a part of you that perhaps was suppressed and told that you weren't allowed to be powerful. It's now coming up and out and wants to be heard. We also have fairies of the future in reverse and Nellis the alchemist. Okay, so this is interesting because what I feel like is there's something from the past that is being pulled into a future energy, into a future focus, into a new future. 
And I kind of feel like it's kicking and screaming because it doesn't want to change. This is an energy around you or could be a person, but it's kind of saying we are moving forward into, and Nellis the alchemist is very much the age of Aquarius energy here. We're stepping forward into this new energy, especially moving into 2022. And there's this energy here that's resisting it. And so this is where it's like be uh, open and aware of what this could be because this is where something from the past is transforming into this future vision. So this could be something quite, and like I said, I feel like it's very career and work orientated. So this could be, like I said, an old way of doing things or an old product or an old job. And yes, it worked up until this point, but now it's like, well, stepping into this new energy, it doesn't quite feel right. There might be a better way. And so it feels like, yes, it's something is being asked to change, but purely because it could end up being bigger and better like this Ace of Pentacles here. So Wow, incredibly potent and powerful time for you, Leo. And uh, I would say just give yourself the space to heal that's coming in this lovely, and it feels very soft and gentle. Be gentle with yourself. There's a lot of love around this as well from the universe coming in. And yeah, get ready. <laughs> get ready for this um, interesting energy, the Ace of Pentacles and the Black Egg to start birthing. Very powerful. So that's it, Leo. Thanks so much. Oh, I didn't pull a charm. Sorry. Gosh, I got so excited by everything. Uh, we have the butterfly. Beautiful. And butterflies represent transformation. So, yes, there is something transforming. It's interesting with this butterfly because it's only a little butterfly. So it's saying this is in a particular area of your life. It's very directional. It's not like your whole life is transforming or a whole, your self is transforming. It's like one thing, it's very much like focused in on one area is transforming here. So this is where they're kind of wanting you to focus. <laughs> uh, and so you will know what this is. You'll get, you'll be getting those messages pretty clearly with this Queen of Cups is very highly intuitive energy. So, but yeah, if it's like, you know, your health, physical detox, go for it. If it's money, go for it. Whatever this is, um, is transforming. I do feel like it's either health or career, but you know, it could be something totally different to you because everybody's got different, uh, birth charts and energies around them, but this is a general reading. So that's it, Leo. Thanks so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time.